Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dawn and I'm a 55 year old woman here in the mature beauty community. And I invite you to hit the subscribe button and stick around. And so today I'm going to be sharing with you my July monthly favorites. I always say whenever I'm doing monthly favorites, I can't believe how fast time is going, but time just marches on. So I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> time just moves forward. And so during the month of July, my family took a vacation to the Daniel Boone National Park in Kentucky in the mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. We were outdoors most of the time and we did a lot of hiking and we did some kayaking and we were just really enjoying the mountains and being outside. So I wanted to get a pair of hiking boots for the trip because last time we went on a vacation in Tennessee, we did a lot of hiking there in the Smoky Mountains and I needed to get a new pair of hiking boots. But since it's summer and I knew that we'd be kayaking and doing a lot of things in the water as well, I decided to, to choose something for summer. And I chose the Tiva Woman's Terra Sandal. And these are made in the USA and they're made with quick dry webbing that's completely biodegradable. So everything is really good if you're like into the environment and you want something really environmental friendly and made in the USA, then these will check all the boxes. I found mine on Amazon because they had a lot of colors to choose from and a lot of sizes and they shipped them very quickly, which, which was something else that was important to me because I waited till the last minute to purchase these. And so these are what they look like. They have a really squishy, spongy footbed with a lot of arch support. You know that whenever I share shoes with you, they're always supportive and good for your feet because I'm a nurse and I know how important that is. I was on my feet a lot when I was younger and I know what it can do to your legs, like varicose veins and things like that, and your feet if you don't take care of them. So I always wear shoes that are comfortable, but I also like them to be a little bit cute too. Some people would say these are not cute at all, but I think they're pretty cute. And so I chose this color and they have a lot of Velcro on them to adjust them to your foot. So there's two straps here that are adjustable, which is very nice. So if you have a narrow foot or a wide foot, you can adjust them accordingly. And this is Velcro as well. This is a little bit squishy back here. They were really good. They really were good to wear the whole trip. And I like them a lot here at home because I go on like short walks and I'm running in and out of stores or the gym and all that. So they're really perfect for that too. And they look really cute with like leggings and a top like I have on now. I'm just gonna go work out later. So I'm dressed very casually and they look really cute with my athletic clothes. But sometimes I like to wear a little sundress, like a sporty one and wear them with that too. I think they're just really cute and I do really enjoy a sporty look. So I'm really happy with those and I'll link them down below in the description box to help you find them or read more about them if you're interested. Okay, the next two items are hair items that I've had in my stash and I used them a ton when my hair was shorter after I grew out my really short haircut. And then as my hair got longer, it was a little drier and more damaged on the ends. So I liked the It's a 10 hair leave-in for my longer hair. It was more hydrating than these two products I'm gonna share with you. But I love these products when my hair is shorter and healthy because shorter hair is healthier hair because it's not as old and it hasn't been chemically treated as much. And so my hair is a lot healthier since I got a cut. So I've gone back to some products that I already had in my stash. So I didn't have to go out and buy these. And I already knew that I love them because I used them a lot when I was growing out my hair. And they cost a fraction of the price of the It's a 10 hair leave-in. So the first one is the Frizz Ease Extra Strength Serum. And let me read to you what it says. It's advanced smoothing and hydrating for with extra humidity resistance and this one is for thick coarse hair they do make one that's for 
um, it's a thinner consistency, so it's not as heavy if you have thinner hair. My hair is really thick and kind of coarse, so it really is great for my hair. I really need something this like hydrating. And this has argan oil, coconut oil, and moringa oil in it, and it's very hydrating and leaves my hair glossy, and I really like this a lot. And I use this in the morning because I wash my hair at night, and then I let it kind of dry overnight, and then in the morning, Morning, I just kind of brush it out or comb it out and then I put this in and that's all I do and it really kind of helps my kind of curly hair that I have underneath this hair is really coarse and curly and I don't do anything to it I could flat iron it but I don't want to bother I just want to keep it as healthy as I can and so this is really great and then the other product I use right after I wash my hair, but you can use this anytime. Oh, and this one you can also use anytime. You can use it after you get out of the shower when your hair is wet, or you can you know, you know, also use it when your hair is dry. I use it when my hair is dry. I haven't tried it when my hair is wet. I think I should do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight because I usually use this right after I get out of the shower. And this is the John, John Frieda Frizzies Daily Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. And you get a nice big bottle of this and it's not that expensive. I can't remember how much it is because I purchased this a really long time ago and it's still really great. I have about half of the bottle left and I just kind of saturate my hair with it after I get out of the shower I towel like make it a little bit damp then I comb it with a wide tooth comb or with my wet brush and then I just spray this all over and then I take my little towel scrunchie and put my hair up in my towel scrunchie and I just relax until my hair is really just damp and then at night I sort of take it out I do have a silk scrunchie that I sometimes change it out for but um anyway I talked about what I do with my hair in a couple videos ago and that was my really long hair but nothing's really changed except these two products I've pulled out and I'm really enjoying them and I used them so much in the past that I know I love them so these are really great this next product is a game changer I was thinking about just making one video about this one product because I kind of wanted to get the word out but it's a product that people probably know about but I don't think a lot of people try this product and it's super inexpensive you can find it everywhere it's easily accessible it's made by Aquaphor and the reason I tried it is because one of my best friends is going through breast cancer treatment and she went through six rounds of chemo and during that time her skin got really really dry and it was flaking and she had this like reaction to the chemo and so she told me that her skincare routine consisted of Aquaphor, the one in the tub, and she would just take it and slather it on her skin, and it really helped, and that's what she was using. Um, so I thought I should probably try to use that. So instead of getting the one in the tub, though, I got this one. It's the Aquaphor Healing Ointment for Baby. So it's made for a baby. You can see I'm like almost out, and I've been using this for a couple of months now. I took it with on vacation, and my daughters used it too, and now they both have it because they love it as well a couple of things is that it's incredibly hydrating and I'll tell you what's in it while I'm on that on that note so it is petroleum based it has 40% petroleum it has lanolin panthenol and glycerin and I always look for glycerin in my skincare moisturizers because glycerin is what anchors the water and hydration into your skin. And if you don't have glycerin or something to kind of anchor it, it's like, it's not gonna work. So I always look for glycerin and this has glycerin in it. And I take a couple of pea sizes and I rub it in my hand like this and then I kind of massage it here on my chin area where I get a lot of dry skin. It sometimes gets flaky there rub it in and then I just kind of massage it up so the majority of it is here but the, then I massage the rest up and under my eyes and above my eyes too I don't do my forehead just because I don't get dry skin on my forehead for whatever reason so I don't bother and plus I don't really want to get it into my hair I do keep my hair back you know at night when I'm doing this and sometimes when I'm not feeling lazy I'll use my gua sha stone and I'll just kind of massage it in but even if I don't use my gua sha stone I sit in bed and I just kind of like massage it in because I watch Netflix or read or something like that at night when I'm sitting in bed after my shower and that's when I'll put it like all over 
it feels so good and it's not goopy at all. It doesn't get on my pillow. By the time I go to bed, it's pretty much soaked in. You know, you can feel something on your skin just like you can anytime you have skincare on your skin, but it's not goopy and it's not gonna get all over your pillows or your hair or anything like that because I use so little. I use only what I need and I don't use it excessively. I have noticed that I get like these sebaceous filaments here and those are like those little pores that get like plugged but you can't see them in like normal like, conversation with people but when you get up to a magnifying mirror you can see them um and i don't know what causes them i thought glycolic would get rid of them if i use like a little glycolic but that has not helped and i've been using that for years um and this has really helped that i don't have like I can remove the sebaceous filaments and then apply this and they don't really come back. It's like there's something in this that's really helping. I need to watch Dr. Dre's video again on sebaceous filaments and see what she says. Maybe she recommended something like this way back and I didn't pay attention, but I heard it when my friend was telling me about it. You know, sometimes you have to hear things again and again before you're like, oh, okay, let me try that. And this I think I'll use this till the day I die now. It is the very best moisturizer I've ever tried. So I got the baby one. So it's really good. It's got those good ingredients, very, very gentle, no fragrance. I think it's good for everyone. If it's good for a baby, it's good for everyone. Found when I was watching Nisha Sugar Puff and Stuff. I love her channel. I don't watch all her videos for some reason. I don't know why, but whenever I do, I'm always happy that I did. She has a really sweet personality and she always shares really good products too. And so recently I was watching a video of hers because she had eye surgery to remove some extra skin and she was doing an update on her healing process and then she said one thing that she really loves is that she does can use like a one and done eyeshadow now which she could never do before because she had really hooded eyes and so i thought oh i love a one and done and i have a one and done that i've been using so much i have it on now and i haven't shared it with you guys yet and in my last video one of you asked what my eyeshadow was so i think i'll do a get ready with me sharing that with you and i'll do that next if you're interested let me know but um this is what nisha shared and it is from laura geller and it's the baked body frosting for your face and body and it's in tahitian glow i think it comes in other colors and this is what it looks like and it is made in italy laura geller has a lot of baked products and they're made like on tiles in italy they're like cream and then they bake them in the sun it's like a really like incredible process and then you get a baked product but it feels very creamy still even though it's not a cream and i love this i love it as a bronzer i like to take my ginormous bronzer brush and pick some up and just kind of like do pretty much my whole face and i do my neck it is a body product too so you can like really do it anywhere i haven't used it on my body yet but it's really pretty. It gives you like this glow, you know? I don't know if you can tell now, but it's just really glowy and pretty. And Nisha showed using it like here, like on her eye as a one and done. And I've done that and it's really, really pretty. It's super glowy, a really beautiful product. It has a mirror, it's in this really nice compact and i've kind of shelved my favorite nars laguna cream bronzer in place of this because this is a little bit glowier and the laguna is a matte i still love that one that's like my holy grail but sometimes you want something a little glowier in the summer months to look like you know like the bronzy goddess look so i'm really enjoying this and i'm really happy that i found it on nisha's channel Okay, the next thing I shared in a recent video, but I love it so much that I want to talk about it again. And you guys know that I've been speaking to you so much this summer at nauseam about the Pillow Talk Fair from Charlotte Tilbury, which is so perfect for like light skinned, light haired or red haired ladies. If you found that the Pillow Talk 
original and deep do not work for you because they don't work for me. The fair is like my favorite. And then I also got a matte version of it, not from Charlotte Tilbury, but from Lancome. And I've shown them to so many times this summer. And that's what I've been wearing when I'm not wearing like a L'Oreal lipstick or something like that. But I recently purchased the Buxom lipstick. This is the full on lip plumping lipstick for National Lipstick Day. It was half price. And so I decided to give it a try. And it comes in this bullet like this. And this is what it looks like. And I'll link my color down below because I don't have my glasses on to read it. It's super pretty though. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And when you put it on, it does have a very slight tingle. Not like the Buxom glosses that kind of really tingle. They don't hurt, but they plump and tingle. But this does have a little tingle as well. And I do feel like it makes my lips look really pretty and full. And I haven't had any lip filler put in my lips for two and a half years. It's pretty much dissolved. I still have a little bit. It lasted forever. If you're ever thinking about getting lip filler, I have a video out there what I did. And it was so worth it because it lasted and lasted and lasted. It's not like something you have to do like two and a half years and it's just starting to dissolve. But one of you asked me what I did to my lips because they looked really good. And I responded that I haven't done anything in two and a half years and it's mostly dissolved, but I know I still have a little on board. But um, I think that the way it's dissolved is really pretty. There's still like some fullness and I never went overboard. It was really important for me when I did it the first time, because I've only done it twice, to keep my cupid's bow, like to keep the shape of my lips. And most people didn't even notice that I did it, but I noticed and I only did a half syringe and there's ladies who do like one whole syringe or two syringes. You can get like that, you lose the, the Cupid's bow and everyone's lips kind of look the same then. And I did not want that. I just wanted like some slight to add back in the fullness that I lost as I was aging. And it really helped because I was starting to get some like little vertical lines and it puffed those out and they're gone. <laughs> so I don't have those anymore. So that that was one of my favorites. <laughs> that was one of my favorites and I'm still enjoying it. And once this is all gone, I'll do it again in a heartbeat because it was affordable for half a syringe and it lasted like two and a half years. So why not? But anyways, this is beautiful and it does look really pretty. It's super hydrating, creamy, and does have a little bit of a plumping effect. And let me just tell you the name of the color. It is Bodycon. That's the color I got. And it's just kind of like, like a pinky rose. And it looks really pretty because I like to wear a lot of peach blushes and eyeshadows. And having that rosy pink contrast with that, I think looks really pretty as opposed to doing like everything peach or everything pink. I like that contrast. So really good. I love this. I would suggest giving it a try or trying a different shade. If you don't like this shade, there's several other shades to choose from. This is the one I chose and I love it. So that is another favorite for the month of July. And I think I'll stop this here. Um, I did have some sh TV shows and some other items like some household items and things like that but i think i'll do that in a different video and that might fit together better in a different video because this is more of like beauty products so i'll do that in a different video so my monthly favorites are always a giveaway so this month i'm going to be giving away a laura geller body frosting just like the one that i shared with you in tahitian glow i have another one right here unopened still in the bubble wrap and i'm going to it that way so when I ship it it will be nice and safe for one of you and um, all you have to do is watch this video comment on this video like this video be a subscriber to my channel and use the word Tahitian glow in your comment and I'll know that you want to be entered in the giveaway and two weeks not next week but the following week's video I will put the winner of the giveaway in the description box you need to come back and check because sometimes I have to kind of hunt down the person who won and it's kind of a pain because I have to go back to your old comment and then 
comment to you and some of you don't read those or don't get those in your email or whatever so you have to come back if you don't come back in like a week if i haven't heard from you in like a week or 10 days i will I will offer it up again. So um, just make sure you come back and check for that. And thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you all have a very blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you next time.